If you watch my channel, you know I always say that Andre Ward is the best fighter to ever come out of California. He is the West Coast king of boxing. That all changes today. A lot of y'all always say, yo, Southpaw TV, why you always switch up on certain fighters? Ain't nobody switching up on nobody. I was never a part of their team. If I was a part of their team, then you could call it switching up. I guess a gang of people seen my video about Devin Haney getting cooked by Google. Y'all know when you Google Devin Haney's name, this image right here pops up. Well, a Twitter user by the name of Nat must have seen my video. Because the man tweeted out, when you Google Devin Haney, look at the picture that shows up. It's Devin Haney being dropped. Well, Andre Ward responded back to the man by saying, Don't forget to mention that he got up every time and finished the fight. Don't leave that out. It doesn't matter. I feel like Andre Ward should have known better. Andre Ward being one of the best boxers of all time. And hey, yo, Andre, you absolutely right. Devin Haney kept getting back up. <laughs> but you being the boxing mind that you is, you know damn well that Devin Haney should have just stayed down. You know damn well that if Devin Haney ever comes back, he ain't never going to be the same. You know damn well, given the boxing knowledge that you know, given your experience, that Devin Haney got changed for the rest of his life because he kept getting back up. Devin is 17. Andre Ward is actually a pastor in real life. I got nothing negative to say about Andre Ward as a person. I got nothing negative to say about Andre Ward as a fighter. One of the best to ever do it. But on this particular situation, Andre Ward is begging for acceptance from the corny Devin Haney fan base. And for that reason, I am no longer a fan of Andre Ward. He's yeah. a legendary corny. Yo, Devin Haney kept getting back up. Even though he got knocked down, he kept getting back up. The man should have stayed down. Because I guarantee y'all, in his next fight, if he fights anybody in the top 10, the man is getting cooked, mark my words. I don't speak English. And TBE, the money man, Floyd Mayweather, the greatest boxer to ever live, was doing an interview on male sport boxing. Y'all go check that out. And they asked Floyd Mayweather at the end of the interview, who would win, Lennox Lewis or Muhammad Ali? Floyd Mayweather answered immediately, Lennox Lewis would cook Muhammad Ali. And as y'all pretty much expected, one of the worst fan bases of all time. I'm talking about the Muhammad Ali fan base. Got they feelings hurt in their comment section. You don't know shit about boxing. And that's right. I said Muhammad Ali got one of the worst fan bases of all time. Y'all know damn well that Muhammad Ali was not the greatest boxer of all time. I don't give a damn what the man stood for outside the ring. But inside that square circle, you know damn well the man was not more skilled than Floyd Mayweather. You know damn well that if Muhammad Ali were around today, competing today at heavyweight, he would lose to any top 10 heavyweight. And I definitely believe in Jesus. I definitely agree with Floyd Mayweather. Lennox Lewis, in my opinion, was the greatest heavyweight of all time. Let me repeat that. Nobody, and I repeat, nobody in the history of heavyweight boxing could beat Lennox Lewis. And if they did, he would definitely get him back. Did y'all know Lennox Lewis is the only heavyweight boxer in the modern day era to defeat every single man he was in the ring with? You can't say the same for Muhammad Ali now, can ya? Horrible fighter. And the WBC, I truly believe, was trying to piss people off by putting up this post. It says, which boxer is likely to become three-time undisputed? You got Bud Crawford, Clarissa T-Rex Shields, now you were in your way, Sinisa Estrada and Katie Taylor. I don't think it's gonna be Katie Taylor. Take Sinisa super bad or not so super bad Estrada off the list. Take now you were in your way off the list. The man is not a great fighter. I don't think it's gonna be Clarissa T. Rex Shields, but I definitely think that Bud Cropper at 154 will go undisputed, making him a three-time undisputed champion in the sport of boxing. Not now you were in your way. I don't speak English. Speaking of Bud Crawford, the man did an interview talking about how Canelo Alvarez is scared of him because he is way smaller than Canelo. But Canelo being very hypocritical, saying he don't want to fight even though Canelo is used to fighting smaller fighters. Canelo been fighting smaller guys his whole career, making his own catch weight for years. Bud Crawford low-key got a great point. Canelo built his career of fighting smaller men just so he could look like he's some type of great but y'all know these days canelo was all about the money he asking for a gang of money to fight benavidez and bud crawford you want 200 
million for for Benavidez, and he want 150 million to fight me. So none of those guys was pound for pound best fighter in the world that he fought when when it was coming up in weight. Yo, respect to Bud Crawford because you know the man brainstormed that at the crib. He couldn't wait to get in front of a microphone and a camera and make a very great point. Canelo did fight smarter men his whole career, but none of them was the pound for pound king of boxing except Floyd Mayweather, and we all know how that fight ended. I was born ready. I don't know, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that Terrence Boyd Crawford puts fear in Canelo Alvarez's heart the way David Benavidez does? We all know that Canelo fears David Benavidez. We know this, we've been new this. But do y'all think that Canelo Alvarez is scared of losing to Boyd Crawford because Boyd Crawford is the way smaller man? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all already know what I say. The last time Canelo Alvarez fought an undefeated black fighter was 11 years ago. That man's name was Floyd Mayweather. We all know how that ended. I'm the best. I will always be the best. There's no fighter in the past that's better than me. There's no fighter that's in the future that's going to be better than me. And there's no fighter better than me right now. This is the way I am. This is the way I am.